Hello everybody. Today in this video lesson we are going to solve a problem basing on units and dimensions. We want to calculate the dimensions of a physical quantity called half epsilon naught e square where epsilon naught is called as permittivity of the free space and e is representing electric field intensity. If e is electric field intensity epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space we need to know what is the dimensional formula of half epsilon naught e square. Let us try solving this uh, problem. If I have to solve this problem, first of all I need to know, we need to know the dimensions of epsilon naught and electric field intensity. First let us try to identify the dimensions of these two. Let us start with epsilon naught. Epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space that appears basically in the Coulomb's inverse square law. According to Coulomb's inverse square law, the force between any two charges is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square. So I need to know the dimensional formula of epsilon naught. So, let us write the dimensional formulas of all the other things. We know first of all force as something like mass into acceleration. Dimensions of mass is capital M. Acceleration is velocity by time. So, it has the dimensions of L t power minus 2. Q and Q2 are the charges. We know they were defined like something like I t because current is defined as rate of flow of charge current is also being treated like a fundamental quantity. So, it has a dimension of i t. r is anyway distance, the dimension of r is nothing but equal to L. Substituting all this in the above equation, in this equation, we can write f as m l t power minus 2 1 by 4 pi is a constant, it would not have any dimension, epsilon naught we do not know, we have to calculate q1 and q2 are the charges, they have a dimensions of i and t both of them because both are charges square by r square is nothing but equal to length square. So, if I take the epsilon naught to the other side of the equation, epsilon naught will be i square t square by l square and everything like a force automatically comes into the denominator that is mlt power minus 2. So, by simplifying this further, I can write i square t square by l square and l, l cube t power minus 2 and m is also there. So, we can write the dimensions of the epsilon naught as m power minus 1, l power minus 3, because this is in denominator, it will come to the numerator, uh, t power plus 2 and there is another plus 2, t power plus 4 and i power plus 2. This is the dimension of epsilon naught or the dimensional formula of epsilon naught. Now, I also need to know the dimensions of electric field intensity E. I have already calculated for epsilon naught. <coughs> Let us try to calculate the dimensions of electric field intensity. If you remember the definition of electric field intensity, it is the force experienced by a unit positive charge when it is placed in an electric field. So, I know the dimension of F as M A Q E charge. So, its dimension is I T. So, the E has a dimension of m l t power minus 2 and another minus 1 minus 3 and i power minus 1. Knowing the dimensions of E as well as epsilon naught, now calculating the dimensions of half epsilon naught e square is quite easy. Dimensions of half epsilon naught e square is half is a number, it will not have a dimension. Epsilon naught we have already calculated as m power minus 1 
L power minus 3, T power plus 4, I power plus 2 and E square, E is we have just now written, ML, T power minus 3, I power minus 1, whole square is also there. So, let us try to simplify this further, M power minus 1 and M power plus 2 is here on the second term m power plus 2 is there, minus 1 plus 2, L power minus 3 here is there, L power plus 2 is here, T power plus 4 is here, minus 3 into 2, minus 6 is there, I power plus 2 and here is another minus 2. So, let us try to simplify what is the dimensions of this is equal to m power minus 1 plus 2 plus 1, l power minus 3 and plus 2, l power minus 1, t power minus 2 and i power 0, there is no i there, right. So, we can understand that the dimensions of, you want to calculate the dimensions of dimensions of half epsilon naught e square is nothing but m l power minus 1 t power minus 2 is the answer of the problem. So, in during all this process we have just analyzed the basic concepts of dimensional analysis and the way how do we write a dimensional formula. Thank you for watching. Uh, welcome back, keep coming to this website and the YouTube channel, so that you will be getting more and more information. Thank you.